What's up everybody? It's Coach Adam. Today's our first session for our summer skills program. Got a really good session for you today, so listen up. The only things you're going to need today is definitely a ball, a bottle of water, and a decent sized space. So, there's going to be a lot of touches today. We're going to work on dribbling through cones, lots of different aspects to it, different surfaces of the feet, and mainly a lot of fun. So, check this video out, give it a try, let's see what you got. Okay, so before you get started and get going with these exercises, let's talk a little bit about the techniques and what you have to be when you're dribbling. So first off, we all need to know the touch step dribble. Using the outside three toes of either our dominant foot or our weaker foot, we're gonna make sure that every step that we take has a touch step to it. That's key, so that's the first thing. The second thing is we're gonna make sure that your back is bent, really bent. I always say to soccer players and I say to athletes, soccer is played about an inch or two shorter than you actually are. And what I mean by that is your knees are bent, you're ready in athletic position all the time to change direction or to take on a defender. Good? So, first step, touch step dribble. Second step, knees bent. Third, you have to use improvisation. So not everything's perfect. Soccer's not perfect, you're not perfect, but in order to be the best you can, you have to be able to change on the fly, change direction on the fly. If mistakes happen, you have to be able to use some other side or a different part of the feet. So always use improvisation, use your imagination, and mainly, let's just have some fun. Okay, so first off, you're gonna need to put some cones out. I've created this area and this way to put your cones because I think it's really important. I think it relates directly to the game. So, have a look, listen to the voiceover, it'll help you better to put the cones down. So as you can see, you're going to need three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cones or ten things around your house that are safe that you can use as cones. So you'll notice I put the first cone out, took three big steps, and then I put another cone out, took another three big steps. You'll then notice I took five large steps. Now, it can be large steps based on whoever you are, because this is always a session based on yourself. Now, five large steps. Then you're going to have four cones in the middle, each with one big step in between. And looking down, you got five big steps again, and you're just mimicking it on the other side. So, we're going to get right into it. The first thing I want you to do is get yourself warmed up, get yourself ready, get on the ball, get some touches, use all the different surfaces of the feet, have some fun until you get your heart rate up, so your blood's pumping, and you get a little sweat on, then you get right into the workout. All right, so my cones are set up. You've already got yourself dribbling on the ball, getting the surface of the feet, and getting yourself warm. Now, we're gonna get into a little bit of movement. So I want you to check out what I'm doing now on the cones, and I'll be able to explain it a little further. So the first step is without a ball. Just a nice, light jog, changing direction, and making sure that you're always getting into different angles of your knees and your hips. So, I want you to use the areas on the outside as a figure eight. 
And what that means is you're going to travel in, out, and around, turning in all different angles before we get started on the ball. So the outside areas are going to be used for figure eights. The inside area is where you're going to work on that quick movement, the quick movement of your feet. And also when the ball gets in there, we're going to use different aspects and different parts of our feet. So we'll do some ball rolls through, maybe some outside insides through. You can be creative with this. You can have some fun with it and kind of make it your own. But I'm going to show you a few little exercises that I'm going to do that I want you to try when you get there. All right, so you've used the figure eights and the inside middle cones back to a figure eight, then sprinting right through. You can always do this at your own pace. I suggest starting off slowly and going quicker and quicker every time. Now, the second part to this is really getting those tight touches in to be able to get out of areas in games that are really tight. Maybe there's two or three defenders around you. You have to get away from one to find a pass. So this is gonna really help you. Here's a couple exercises you can do using the four middle cones. All right, so let's give you some skills you can use when you're traveling through the middle cones. Like I said, you want to be creative with this, but here's a couple you can use. So I'm going to use the outside, inside, outside, inside technique. You're standing on one side of the gate. You're going to push that ball through with the outside, catch it with the inside. Then push that ball through the outside, catch with the inside. And outside, inside. Then you're going to want to turn and start the other way. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Good. Now as you do this, you're going to want to try and go a little bit quicker to challenge yourself. And if you make mistakes, it's totally cool. You just want to always try as fast as you can to really work on the surfaces of the feet. Give that a go and I'll give you a couple more. Okay, so we've done the outside inside. Now, let's get to the bottom of our foot, the sole part of our foot. Really important part of the foot to use to get yourself out of trouble. But through these gates, you're going to want to use the outside foot that's furthest away from the cones to roll that ball across your body and stop it with the other foot. Then you're going to roll across your body again and stop, roll, stop. Turning yourself around, go a little slower, then try and pick up the pace. Good. Every time, really focusing on the technique and keeping control of that ball and working on all the different surfaces of the feet.